Now it's art that tells the American story. And you'll find it in U.S. embassies around the world. As VOS Caroline Turner tells us, art sends a major message in the game of cultural diplomacy. Distinguished American artists donate works to display in U.S. embassies throughout the world through the Foundation for Art and Preservation in Embassies, known as FAPE. The National Gallery of Art recently held a panel discussion where the conversation turned on the impact of creating and sharing art in a global community. The Associate Curator of Modern Art, James Mayer, was asked about the role of art in diplomacy. That's a rich topic. It's had different roles to play historically. Um, old masters like Van Eyck and Velazquez and Rubens were literally diplomats on behalf of their rulers, on behalf of the kings. In contemporary society, I suppose art can bring information from one place to another, from the United States, from what's going on here, to other places around the world. It's about information, it's about representing our cultural accomplishments, and it's about bringing understanding, I think, from one culture to another. Carrie Mae Weems created a complex body of art that employs photographs, digital images, and video. Her work investigates family relationships, gender roles, and racism. There's a history of art and diplomacy, and there's a history of artists being involved in diplomacy. Um, early, of course, uh, for the most part, um, there were jazz musicians who were a part of, of uh, the arts and diplomacy initiative. People like Dizzy Gillespie and his band, and of course the great Louis Armstrong, um, Dave Bubrak and his uh, group. And so there have been amazing, amazing um, um, artists in, involved, and later visual artists actually became involved. Actress and playwright Anna DeVere Smith is credited for creating a new form of theater. We soften the blow of difference, and that as we sort of merge as artists just out of interest in different cultures and are influenced by the world, we're going to help bring the world together. I mean, it's called soft power. And in my comments today, I talked about um, a radical hospitality, a radical welcome as a kind of power, if what you're interested in, I think, is the future of the human race. Robert Storrs, Dean of Yale University School of Art and Chairman of the FAPE Fine Arts Committee. The embassies are places where people work, they're places where people come to do business with the United States or with its different agencies, and that art should be present and be something that they uh, are exposed to while they're there is very important. It's a way in which people from other countries can become familiar with our culture broadly defined, and it's a way where people who work in those spaces will have a chance to think about something other than their job. As of 2014, FAPE contributions included works by more than 200 preeminent American artists placed in more than 140 countries. Carolyn Turner, VOA News.